Hello Leo, Leo Rising and Leo Moon people, this is your weekly astrological and card forecast for the week starting January 30th, 2017. And a quick reminder for you guys, when I say Moon and Rising, I mean Moon and Rising. A lot of folks have been asking me, should I check my Rising, should I check my Moon? And the answer is yes. And for those of you who kind of always ask, what's better, what's more important, what's most optimal? Well, they all add an extra dimension onto your general horoscope for the week, but I would say, if I had to make a recommendation, I would check my rising sign for my astrology and count on that, but my sun sign for the tarot and count on that. But that's as far as that's going to go, uh, because that's, that's basically, you know, that again, we want to get multifacets in here. And of course, if you do want to get a, ever get a personal session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on with your astrology this week, Leo? Well, we got Mercury in Capricorn forming a T-square between Jupiter and Uranus. This is going on between your sixth house of reputation, daily work, and your service to others in Capricorn, your third house of communications with Jupiter, and your ninth house of broadcasting, higher education, multicultural expansion, um, as well as anything to do with travel or any kind of big plans that you have to maybe expand your personal enterprise or your education. And when we look at this, I kind of see a bit of a rerun this week, um, and it's coming back from December. And those of you who may have been following me back then, uh, remember that there was a point where I was talking about being put on the spot by the planets in this area, sort of being put in the boss section when you're being put on the spot, if that makes sense. You are in charge, you are in control. But this week, we might also be noticing that we are in control of uh, maybe not so much just what information people have, but what, inf what information people are willing to receive. This is a good week to kind of reach out and kind of figure out where everyone stands as far as work, as far as family, as far as your schedule goes. Um, because again, you have a chance to do some big shifts as far as what you want to be out there in the ethers. What's also interesting here is we're kind of put on the spot as far as any kind of executive action or any personal action we want to take towards broadcasting maybe a personal business or again, changing our educational path or possibly even relocating where, you know, whether it's our partner putting us in the driver's seat and making, and making us make all the decisions, or whether it's the school or university helping us to make all the decisions, or maybe even a talent agent or a producer just saying, you know, screw it here, I'm leaving it all in your hands, Leo. This is the kind of week where you've got to look and see you are in charge. You are the boss of where all of this goes next. And you may not have wanted to have this much responsibility, but it's yours and it does come with its own fringe benefits, even if it's a bit intimidating. So what is going on with your cards this week, we may ask? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Merciful One upright. And this is a card that basically talks about a need to pay attention to where forgiveness as well as redemption need to be given priority. If somebody's trying to redeem themselves to you, or if you feel like somebody is trying to make something up for you to you, but you're not ready to forgive them, you know what? Forgive, but don't forget. The Merciful One card can also indicate a need to pay attention to where a lot of outstanding conflicts and grudges might actually be sort of causing problems for third and fourth parties this week. And with the Merciful One, you know, even if they're not your conflicts, it's time to sort of show up as the enlightened person and push for the peace and understanding and get away from the emotional highs and lows, because everyone seems to be hooked on those kinds of things nowadays. For your, emo for your emotion, just jumping all over three cards, for your earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the five of wands reversed. And this card is interesting because I am seeing a lot of you Leo people taking an opportunity to take a break this week. You may be actually deciding that you want to maybe do some self-care and, you know, take some sick days, play some hooky a little bit. That's okay. The Five of Wands reversed is saying that maybe it is time to kind of take some space from some people um, at the office or the office entirely. For those of you who are not looking to take any time off, this can still be really good news for those of you who have been having some conflicts 
with an assignment or with, again, a collaborator or a client that you no longer wish to be working with. This situation is just, you know, it's, it's no good, we have no way of getting, you know, we, we don't know how to get rid of this person, but we want to be able to work and have a happy place at work, this is good news. Financially, with the Five of Wands reversed, I also see here that things might seem a little bit slow in the beginning of this week when it comes to orders, when it comes to funds, when it comes to hours and things like that. But the nice thing is, is that other people, whether it's other co-workers and things like that, will also be bowing out and taking out that spare time. So it's kind of like how the workload is delegated. If you need to pick up extra hours, they are there. Even if you don't care and you were just trying to get overtime the whole time, this is the opportunity. And if you're gunning for anyone else's positions, somebody may be putting in a notice this week, and that, might, that position may be yours for the taking. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we do have the Two of Cups, upright. And this could be great news for those of you that really do need to have that heart-to-heart -heart with a friend or a relative who has been sort of maybe emotionally distant, maybe we've been having a lot of conflicts lately, Maybe we have not been able to get to the bottom of why it's so hard for us to get along with this person, lately anyway. And with the Two of Cups upright, you know, there is a rebonding opportunity going on here. Yes, this could lead to a, a, a romantic situation for those of you that are maybe having this connection with somebody who used to be a crush or possibly even a strained uh, romantic relationship from the past, but the Two of Cups upright is saying that open, honest communication is sort of the policy of what's happening between you and this person this week. And we want to make sure that we're both coming at it. Don't try and save face. It's not a time to try and excuse yourself. If y'all got things to do where, you know, you both got to patch up and admit some rights and wrongs, be fair, because this will turn out very nicely. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Herophod card reversed. Leo, sometimes we have to actually go against what we've already, you know, decided were good rules, okay? Um, these could be rules from tradition, rules from work, rules at the office, rules of, you know, the neighborhood. <laughs> but the Hierophant card reverse is kind of saying, where do we need to know to stop being maybe a little bit too, um, too clingy with tradition or too clingy with what has been sort of like established as a historical norm or a cultural agreement. Okay, those of you who are students of the Tarot Tutorship class, you know this card talks all about cultural agreements. Because the Hierophant card reverse is saying we are actually bending over backwards a bit too much. I think to uphold a silly law or a silly custom or a silly tradition that is actually, again, it's, it's breaking our backs. It's, we, we can't appease these people, even if we thought we were kind of standing on the right side of them. And we may find out that the whole problem is, is the rule or the custom in general. So you might want to think about getting people a little, you know, enlighten people to get away from that. For your emotions with water and romantic life, we do have the Knight of Wands upright. And this could be great news for you single Leos out there, because the Knight of Wands does indicate that we have an opportunity to meet somebody who is ready to go a little bit fast. And I know you fire signs, you like to go fast in your relationships. Not like crazy fast, but you definitely go faster than some of us earth and water signs. And the Knight of Wands upright is saying we're going to meet somebody who's absolutely, you know, who's very sympathetic to that, you know, muy simpatico, that kind of thing. And with the Knight of Wands, we tend to see also invitations coming for more social arrangements. In fact, the Knight of Wands, for those of you who are single and looking, might not even be the person. This might just be the go-between, but whoever they're hooking you up with is very successfully going to be interested in you as well. So it's definitely a back and forth. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Knight of Wands upright also talks about you and your partner kind of being, again, on a more sympathetic, emotional, and even romantic page together. And this could actually light up a spark, or maybe this is already a spark that's going to get a can of gas this week, because I feel like you and your partner are going to basically trying to be trying to find a haven with one another. We're going to be doing a lot more rec uh, recreation, but we're also going to be enjoying some frivolity, some, you know, enjoying some of the, the simpler frivolous pleasures. Uh, and I think that that's going to be a huge theme this week for a lot of you. And so if you've been feeling like maybe things have, people have been a bit of a stick in the mud, or maybe there's just not enough time for that, this week there will be time. So that is your forecast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you'd like to get a session, you can always follow the links below. 
or go to integrativemysticism.com.